So what we've got reports to go today, Twos and Freed in Norway have announced a massive new edition set to come for 2021, as well as some more information about what's set to be revealed for 2020. Hello there guys, my name is Coach Chad Dogstubble, but built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News update from Twos and Freed in Norway. Now like I reported on the Lego Star Wars Miniland video uh, earlier today, my throat isn't the best. I've just come back from London, got back at 3am in the morning, it was ridiculous, uh, but I had a great time. Uh, like I said in that video as well, we've got plenty of news updates set to come over the next few days. Obviously, IAP is set to start up very, very soon, so we're going to get loads of updates from that. Obviously, we're going to be showing off the trains from Texas Stingray, Iron Gwazi. Uh, we've got some um, more news about the Knott's Berry Tales coming back with Triotech and Knott's Berry Farm. So, I'm sure we're going to see some other great stuff as well. In terms of other news updates, Skyline Attractions has revealed a new concept called the Skywalk Orbit, which I'll talk to you more about in that video. That's set to come in the next few days. Thought Park have released their opening times for next year. So is Chessington. Hopefully Autumn Towers comes very, very soon. Uh, we've got Sark and Yemi removing their half-pipe coaster, which I'll go on about in that update. Uh, so we've got plenty of news updates set to come in the next few days. So I hope you guys stay tuned and stay updated with all of that. Now, this is a theme park news and update from Twos and Freed in Norway. Now this park opened in 1988. It's got some great coasts. In terms of the like full on extreme coasters, you've got the Thunder Coaster, which is a woody. Uh, you've got Speed Monster, uh, which is of course the Intamin Accelerator. And you've also got a Vekoma NK1200 Tornado model, um, as well called Lupin. Um, now as well as that, they've got an SBF Visa, they've got a Vekoma Junior Coaster, and they've got a Mac Power, like a Mac um, Super Splash. Um, so again, get very good lineup of rides. So this is located in Opegard, Askershus, Norway, specifically. Um, opened on the 11th of June. Um, it, it's, it's a great park. It is a great park. Um, so. Basically, we've got some information about 2020 and 2021. 2021 is going to be the main focus of the video, but we're going to sort of touch on 2020 first. So, uh, here's some information then about what's um, set to be revealed uh, about 2020. Uh, so, work is ongoing with a new attraction for 2020. No drawings shown today, but more information is promised in January. So, the new year will have our next update from Twos and Freed. Uh, and presently it's been worked hard on finishing the project internally so it can be approved by the company board and as far as the local newspaper can tell the investment itself is already greenlit but final approval of the attraction itself remains um, so that's pretty interesting to, talk, to sort of think about um, the new attraction I think won't amount to much I think it could be maybe a least flat ride uh, like many people predicted um, it could be a family dart ride because it said they were working internally uh, so it could just be uh, just behind the scenes with the company but it could also mean maybe like a dart ride like a family dart ride but not much uh, but I, I think the most likely thing here is at least flat ride I think that's the most likely option for this but of course 2021 that's the main thing we're going to talk about so they're presenting a new surprise um, the director of the park is even more hyped though for 2021. Something will debut next season, but we're working on something really big for 2021. Um, now, Solly, um, Bjorn Havard Solly, who is the director of the park, uh, has said this will definitely be the biggest investment in the park ever for a single attraction. So, this immediately screams roller coaster. Um, now, rumours suggest the new thing will be a coaster, but unsurprisingly, given the amount of money involved. Uh, also, they gave the KVAT biggest investment for a single attraction, but there's no other investments that I can think of. There will be multiple attractions, so I think we are looking at just one big attraction. Um, there's a possibility they could be referring to the construction of the park itself. Um, that, of course, cost 178 uh, AM OK, so that's like, my, that's like around $80 million. Uh, not accounting for the inflation uh, back in 1998 when the park opened um, so like I said we don't think we're going to see anything um, sort of massive about this until January and any more on this until January uh, but I think with because Parque Reynos are the owners of the park 
and I think because they've been really liking their launch coasters recently, I think there's a really strong chance here it could be a Mac launch coaster. Now I'm not going to sort of throw massive predictions out there, but I think launch coaster is definitely an option, and I think in terms of looking at launch coasters, you could see Mac, you could see something like Red Force at Porta Ventura, that would be a cool one. Because um, I think Mac would probably make Speed Monster obsolete, kind of like Helix did making Kanonan obsolete, and of course that's gone to the States um, in storage, and of course that was replaced by b &M Dive, so it could literally be anything at this point. But I think with the, the past sort of pattern with uh, Parque Renios and their launch coaster records, uh, I think... There's a, there's, a, there's a strong opportunity for them to do another launch coaster. However, the company might be broader and sort of explore different areas. So there's a real possibility here uh, that we could see nothing nothing like a launch coaster. We could see a dive, we could see a wing, we could see a hyper. I'm joking. Um, it could be a hyper, you never know. Um, I think RMC was thrown about in the forums. Uh, could it be an RMC? I mean, are we, are we, are we going to look at Europe's first single rail coaster? I mean, it's possible. It's definitely possible. Um, so it should be interesting to sort of predict what it could be. Uh, and it should be interesting to find out what it will actually be. Like we said, we haven't got any information about 2020 until January. And then, of course, it'll be around the summertime next year. But we'll sort of get like clues and some announcements about the 2021 attraction. But it's, it, this is screaming to me to be a thrill coaster. Like, not a family coaster, but I'm thinking thrill coaster. Uh, but I can't make any strong predictions at this stage. Um, but I think if I was to make a strong prediction at this early stage, I think with the pattern of launch coasters, like I said, with the company, Parque Reños, I would go with the launch coaster personally. I know it makes Speed Monster obsolete, so I would personally go with the Red Force type one, where it's not as many elements and it's just a massive top part. It's there. It's their stealth, basically. Um, so I think that could be the most likely scenario. But again, we've got to keep all options open because they could go broad and they could go for a different type of coaster uh, instead. So it should be very interesting to sort of uh, follow this development going into 2021. Obviously, 2021 is going to be a big year for the channel because um, I'll finish junior by that point and I really want to do this full time. Um, so 2021 could be a massive year for the channel. We've got some massive projects set to come in 2021 already. Um, a rumored coaster for Europa Park. Um, obviously, we've got the stuff from Walby, Belgium. The Mac Extreme Spinner for Popsland, Japan. We've got the Tron coaster over at Walt Disney World. Um, Magic Kingdom. It's just going to be absolutely mad already. And I think with this being the biggest attraction, biggest single investment in an attraction in the park's history, I think Twos and Freed are on for their, for their big coaster in 2021. So, um, bearing in mind they haven't added an extreme coaster, like an extreme coaster since 2006, and that was Speed Monster. The, the last coaster altogether was 2012. That was the uh, family coaster. So, I'm very interested to see what this is going to be. So, leave your predictions and theories in the comments down below. I'd love to... Uh, read your theories and stuff like that. But thank you very much for watching this theme park news update on Twos and Freed. Like I said, we'll be back with another Twos and Freed update in January uh, when we get more information about 2020 new attraction. And of course, stay tuned on the channel for Twos and Freed updates as we keep you updated throughout the period going into 2021 for their biggest attraction to date. Thank you very much. Make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Comment your thoughts and theories down below and your shout outs for the next video as well. Make sure you click the subscribe button and also click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Share the channel around. Let's get this channel to 2,000 subscribers before the end of the year. This channel's growing rapidly, I can't tell you. Thank you very much. My name is Coach Chow. Kill the Coaster Life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends.